Hello, this is Unlock3, listening and speaking for B1 level. We are in week 5, day 4. Let's take a look at the objectives in this video. We are just going to focus on a little introduction to Unit 4. In this introduction, we are going to look at the objectives of the unit. We are going to do some little discussion about the topic of transport. And we are going to focus on some vocabulary related to the topic of transport. Look at this picture. This, this beach is called Maho Beach. Something is special about Maho Beach. Maho Beach is very close to an airport and the airplanes have to fly very close to the beach to land at the airport. This attracts many people. A lot of people come to this beach to take, to take a selfie when an airplane is approaching the airport. So as you can understand, this topic, this unit is about uh, transport. Transport means to travel from one place to another. And in this, uh, in this unit, we are going to focus on uh, how BMW cars made, are, are made. We are going to focus on a listening and also speaking skill of identifying rhetorical questions. We will uh, study how to propose ideas, expand on ideas, and talk about personal experiences. And then there is, a, there is going to be a speaking task in which you will have to discuss solutions to a problem. Before this, let's talk about a few things first. You can, you can pause the video now and look at these three questions. Think about these three questions. And after that, come back to uh, check a few ideas. Let's look at question one together. Question one is, what are the problems with modern forms of transport? When we say mod modern forms of transport, we mean cars, uh, planes, trains, subway trains, any kind of modern form of transport. So what are the problems? Some problems might be related to traffic jams especially in the morning and in the evening when people go home. There are too many cars on the road and this is called a traffic jam. Sometimes cars cannot move because there are too many of them at the same time on the road. Another problem with modern forms of transport could be traffic accidents. Of course, a lot of accidents are, a lot of accidents are happening almost every day and uh, this causes economical uh, losses and death even. Modern forms of transport sometimes cause air pollution and they may cause health problems as well. Now, what about question two? How has transport changed in your country in the last 50 years? Think, try to think about your country. How has transport changed? Some possible answers might be, for example, today we have more cars on the roads. Of course, we have more roads as well. This makes travel easier today. Also, transport is faster today because modern forms of transport are really fast. Um, today, we have more choices than we had in the past. Uh, we have like air travel, sea travel, travel on land, many different choices today. Also today we have more inter international travel because of businesses, because of uh, trade and commerce. And of course we have more tourism today. People travel to other places, other countries a lot today. So what about question three? Question three says, what do you think is the future of transport. The future of transport. Personally, I think there will be smaller cars in the future because uh, fuel 
is getting expensive and uh, the number of people is getting higher. So if everybody had large cars, there will be more problems. So people will have smaller cars, I think, in the future. Also, there will be uh, alternative fuel sources. Today, most cars or most forms of transport rely on uh, gas, petrol. But in the future, there might be more vehicles that run on solar energy or electric electricity. And in the future, there might be super fast trains to make travel shorter, travel time shorter between cities or countries. And maybe, who knows, there will be flying cars. We'll see. We'll have to wait and see. So this unit is about transport. Before we go into more details about uh, transport, let's try to focus on some key vocabulary related to the topic. When you look at this box, there are eight uh, phrases here. Try to repeat the phrases with me. Robotic arms. Robotic arms. Engines are fitted inside. Engines are fitted inside. Reach speeds of up to. Reach speeds of up to. Environmentally friendly cars. Environmentally friendly cars. Run on diesel fuel. Run on diesel fuel. Fuel efficient cars. Fuel efficient cars. Aluminum cases. Aluminum cases. And the last one is considered to be old fashioned. Considered to be old fashioned. Now you will see a picture. Look at the picture and try to choose which of these phrases the picture shows. This is the first one. So can you guess which, which phrase is shown in this picture? The answer is robotic arms. So when you look at this picture, you'll, you see a lot of arms. These arms are robotic arms. Today, in the modern world, in factories, factory owners um, prefer robotic arms because they do the jobs more efficiently, faster, and <clears throat> more accurately. Now, look at the second picture. What do you think this picture shows? Do you know what this is? This is a fuel tank or gas container. And this one is a smaller gas container. So this picture shows fuel efficient cars. What does fuel efficient cars mean? Fuel means, you know, petrol or gas, or in some languages it is called benzene that helps uh, cars or other vehicles run. Some cars use less gas than other cars. Imagine two cars traveling the same distance, going from one city to another city. One car uses this much gas, and another car uses this much gas for the same distance. So you can say that this car is a fuel efficient car. It uses less gas. Look at the next picture. What do you see here? If you are familiar with cars, you know what this is. This is a this is an aluminum case for the engine of the car. So the engine of the car goes into this case. And this case is made of 
aluminum. The special thing about aluminum cases is that aluminum cases are not heavy. They are much lighter than other metal cases. Look at this picture now. This is an engine, probably with an aluminum case. What do you see? Which of these phrases is shown in this picture? As you can see, this is an engine and this engine is fitted inside the car. So when you talk about engines are fitted inside the car, you, uh, it means that the engines are put, the engines are placed and fixed inside the car. What about this picture? Which of these items do you think the picture shows? This picture shows an old-fashioned car. This car probably comes from the year 1950s. It is old, the style is old, and the design is old. Old-fashioned cars are, usually have large engines and they use a lot of gas and they are considered to be old-fashioned because um, a lot of gas is used and probably a lot of carbon dioxide is emitted into the atmosphere. So which of these phrases is shown in this picture, do you think? This picture shows this phrase. Look at this car. At the moment, the car is going at 110 kilometers per hour. But actually, this car can reach speeds of up to 200 kilometers per hour. This car can reach speeds of up to 200 kilometers per hour. Let's look at the next picture. What is shown in this picture? There is a car, the car is green, and it is connected to solar power. This is a charging station, not a gas station, it's a charging station for electric cars only. So this picture shows an environmentally friendly car. Electric cars or cars that use alternative energy are considered to be environmentally friendly because they don't produce carbon dioxide, they don't pollute the air, they are not harmful for the environment, they are good for the environment. Look at this picture. This picture shows a vehicle which runs on diesel fuel. Usually, large vehicles like tractors, trucks, um, they, they use diesel fuel. And diesel fuel is uh, dirtier than other types of fuel. So, vehicles that use diesel fuel, that run on diesel fuel, are usually considered to be old-fashioned. All right, if you go to page 70, you will see this list of uh, vocabulary items. And on the same page, there is an exercise to go with this. Please pause the video now, do the exercise, and come back to check your answers. Here are the answers in 3, 2, and 1. Because of global warming, many car manufacturers work hard to develop environmentally friendly cars. So that's number one. Global warming is a big problem today. And global warming is caused by carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. So many car manufacturers today work hard to develop environmentally friendly cars. Let's look at number two. Cars that 
are not considered to be green, not considered to be green. Cars that <clears throat> run on diesel fuel are not considered to be green because they produce a lot of carbon dioxide and they pollute the air. They cause global warming. That's number two. What about number three? In comparison to modern electric or hybrid cars, diesel cars are sometimes considered to be old fashioned. Electric or hy hybrid cars are modern. Diesel cars are old fashioned. And number four, people don't like to spend too much money on petrol. Like me, I don't like to spend too much money on petrol. That's why they prefer to buy what? Fuel efficient cars. Fuel efficient cars use less petrol. So you spend less money on petrol. Let's look at number five. The car engines are built from which are very light. Light is the opposite of heavy. So aluminum cases. Yeah? The car engines are built from aluminum cases, which are very light. Number six. In the factory, the new the cars, well, this is not very explain, explanatory. Exp, well, ex, it doesn't explain much, but in the factory, the new engines are fitted inside the cars. Number seven says, the cars are put together by robotic arms. Remember robotic arms working in the factory, doing humans' jobs? And the last one, 270 kilometers per hour, the new car can reach speeds of up to 270 kilometers an hour. So some vocabulary here um, about the topic of transport, about the topic of cars. And actually these, these vocabulary items come from, uh, are about how BMW uh, cars are made. So here is the text. If you are interested, please stop the video here. Read this text to understand how BMW cars are made. And you will see all these vocabulary items used in the context of BMW cars. Now, Let's think about this together. Think about some car features. They will be listed here now. Which of the car features here is the most important to you? And which is the least important? Let's take a look at the car features here. Speed, how fast the car goes. Fuel efficiency, how much gas does the car use? The design, the color, safety, price, comfort, size, make. Which country? Is it an American car or Asian car? Is it a car from India or Europe? And brand. Honda, Ferrari, Fiat, Toyota. That's the brand. When you answer this question, which, which of the car features below is the most important to you? You should explain why. Please remember, you should always support your idea with an explanation or example. So think about your answer and give an explanation. For example, for me, speed is the most important car feature because I like fast cars. I mean, that's a personal choice. If I sit in a small, uh, slow car, I... I feel really bad. I, I feel bored. I don't like the experience. But if, if I'm driving a, speed, a speedy car, a fast car, I feel great. It gives me um, a feeling that I am living. So this is just an example. It's not true, but you know, just as an example, you should explain your reason. And which is the least important for you? Maybe the color is the least important, or maybe the make, 
which country the car comes from is not very important for you. So which one is the most important and which one is the least important? And also try to explain it. You can always write your answers in your notebook to practice. In this video, we did some introduction to unit four and we look at the objectives. We did a little discussion and we studied some vocabulary items related to the topic of transport. You can now go to the next video to study an important feature of pronunciation.